Hey guys, I'm JD Ross, and today I'm going to teach you how to sync your save files between your PC and your Steam Deck. Okay, let's start. For a first step, you need to set up your deck root password. If you don't have that, simply go to the terminal or console, type PASSWD, press enter. You're gonna need to type your password twice, but you cannot see it while typing it, so be careful in typing. But in my case, it says current password because I already have a password. Uh, make it short and easy just so you remember it. Most people just type Steam Deck or something easy to remember. Just type something that you're not gonna forget. So after setting that up, open your browser and go to decky.xyz and then press download. Okay, so save it. Now on the browser, don't click here, okay? It's not going to launch. Go to the file manager. Now double click on it. Continue. And then type your root password or also known as sudo admin password. So in my case, it's very short and very easy to remember. You probably know what my password is. So press OK and that's it. Now on the branch, I usually just choose release unless I'm trying to test something else. But if you want a stable experience and not too much updates, just go for the release version and press OK. Okay, now on my PC, we're gonna download Sing Thing. Search Sing Thing on your Google search or whatever, and then click on the first link, go to downloads, and then click Windows Setup. Go to releases, download this, install it. Next, next, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. D. Yeah, okay. Yep. Hmm. Next. Next. Install. It's very easy to install, just keep clicking next. Yes. Finish. Okay, now same thing opens. Let's return to our Steam Deck for the moment. Let's go to Discover Store and then search for Sing Thing. Install Sing Thing GDK. Launch it. Next, 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 close. Now let's open the web interface. Go to settings, generate and then copy your API key, save. Okay, that's okay. Now shut down, go to big picture mode. Now open this up, go down here, marketplace, search for sync thing, okay, install it, install, open decky again, go to sync thing. Now in my case, it looks like this because I've already set it up before, but in your case, it might look like, uh, like this, okay? Now click sync thing JTK. It's gonna try to start it up. Now this is why I shut down GTK in the desktop mode is because if it's running in the background and this thing tries to start it up, it's going to go into an error. When it comes to the port, it's usually A384, but let's double check. Let's open sync thing, you know, just to make, just to make sure. Open web interface. Right, so it's 8081. Continue. Editor JD here, I'm going to interrupt the tutorial for a few seconds. In this part of the tutorial, the setup skipped right through the API key only because I've set it up before I even made this tutorial. So after you enter the port, you're gonna have to paste the API key that you just copied earlier. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's proceed. Uh, auto start at boot and keep running on desktop. Continue. And that's it. We just need to set up the folders and connect it to my PC. Now we can exit big picture mode now. Now we have to pair the PC to the Steam Deck. Okay, on the PC, go to Actions, Show ID, copy it. Now it's up to you how you put this on your Steam Deck, how you share it, but I like doing it this way. New tab, paste it, enter. Now it's gonna go to search, obviously, and then right click on the tab, uh, send to the devices, and I'm gonna send it to my Steam Deck. And then my Steam Deck, this thing will appear, open new tab, so the ID is now on the URL, right? I'm, I'm just lazy, you know? <laughs> it works though. Okay, so back on sync thing, click add remote device, paste the ID, I'm gonna name it PC, save. And then back on your PC, this is going to appear. Add device, save. 
And after a few seconds, maybe a minute, it should say connected and unused because I haven't used it yet. Before we start, make sure that you've already played the game on both platforms just so the save game folders are set up properly. And then go to wherever you uh, have the save game least updated. In my case, I've already played the game more on the Steam Deck but not that much on the PC so the PC save games are outdated. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the save folder and delete everything just to show you that it's syncing, you know. For this video, I'm going to do it with God of War Ragnarok. I'm gonna delete this, delete that. So it's now empty, but I have the folder set up. Now on a Steam Deck, I've installed God of War Ragnarok a few days ago, so it's probably not the latest compat data. So in order to find it, I'm gonna use a program called Proton Tricks. You can download it on the Discover Store, okay? Just download and install it there, and then open it up. Let's find God of War Ragnarok. Press OK, press OK. Browse files, press OK. Go to Drive C, Users, Steam User, Save Games, God of War Ragnarok, and whatever number this is. The target is this folder. It doesn't matter what the folder says, what matters is what's inside the folder, okay? So we copy location with this one. For your game, whatever game you're trying to back up, you're gonna have to Google to find the save location of that game. Let's go back to sync thing, add folder. This tilde symbol is equivalent to this one. Meaning, if we were to paste this, delete that, paste the location, we go back to the very beginning, we could just remove home and deck, like that. Or you could just delete everything and then paste it. It doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Now, I'm gonna name this folder God of War Saves, and then go to Sharing, click on PC, Save. Now this thing will show up on your PC, add it. And then here, you're gonna have to put the folder of which the save files are gonna go. In this case, it's this folder. Okay, copy that. I want you to see this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it side by side. I'm gonna delete everything here. Paste it. Save. See that? The save files are now saved here. You're now looking at a side by side between my PC and my Steam Deck. I'm going to delete one save file from my PC. Alright, delete that. And it should reflect on the Steam Deck. See, it disappeared on the Steam Deck. And the cool thing about this is even if you shut down your Steam Deck, when you turn it back on, of course it's gonna go straight to gaming mode. The same thing is going to run right away with the help of the Decky Loader plugin that we just installed. Now we're in the game and I'm going to try and make a save file on the Steam Deck and see if it reflects on the PC side, okay? So, save last checkpoint. It should appear on the PC side anytime now. There we go. It came out as G-O-W-R save 19 and the files are synced. There's one thing that you have to make sure about this is that whenever you're switching platform, let's say the last you played is from the Steam Deck. If you're planning to play on PC, make sure that you turn on the Steam Deck, turn on your PC, then, you know, just let them be on the network for like a couple seconds, maybe a minute, just so the save file are synced. Because if you didn't do that, let's say you play your Steam Deck, right? You, then you turn off your Steam Deck, you turn on your PC, and now your PC has an outdated save file and then you save your game on your PC. Now, what happened there is your PC now has a newer save file, but the progress in that game is older than the one on the Steam Deck. Same thing will think that the newer file on the PC should be on the Steam Deck. It might get confused, so you might end up overwriting your further progress in the game from the PC to your Steam Deck instead of the other way. Just make sure that they're both in the network just to sync the save file before you play the game on whatever platform you want. And that's it. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm JD Ross. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.